All new at 6, H&N investigates Hawaii taxpayers on the hook for more than $18 million this year to settle lawsuits filed by dozens of people and companies. Our Daryl Huff has more on the biggest payouts. Altogether, the Attorney General asks for nearly $19 million to settle claims and lawsuits over either mistakes or misbehavior by government workers. First of all, it's just very frustrating because it is taxpayers' money and there are significant amounts of money involved. Senate Judiciary Chair Carl Rhodes has had to approve hundreds of settlements over the years. This year, the Attorney General ended up requesting payment of 40 claims, adding up to over $18 million. The biggest settlement for $3.9 million was paid to the family of 21-year-old Joshua Banks, who was killed instantly when he hit a guardrail on H3 that had gone unrepaired for 18 months. Yeah, a very, very tragic accident, but one that could have been prevented if the state had been doing its job and repairing the guardrail properly. The second largest, nearly $3 million, was also a DOT case for allowing a tree root to buckle and crack the road on a popular Maui bike route. Avid bicyclist David Lawrence fell and was disabled for life. The failure is that they didn't do anything. This condition appears for a number of years and... Um, for whatever reason, it just was never fixed. It does seem like there's a pattern with transportation and corrections that we just get claims over and over and over again. So Rhodes Committee sent a message about that designed to sting the department's pocketbooks. Among the lawsuits against the prison system was a case of guards sexually assaulting inmates at the women's facility. It led to a settlement of $2 million, but the Judiciary Committee voted to have the Department of Public Safety pay 800000 of that out of its own budget. And in the case of DLNR Conservation Enforcement Officer Ethan Ferguson, who raped a girl at a state park, the committee said of the one and a quarter million dollar settlement, 500000 should come out of the DLNR budget. The message, obviously, is please don't get any more of these claims. Do what it takes to stop getting them. In the end, after the departments complained that they would have to cut services to pay the legal settlements, and the attorney general testified that her department has a long-standing policy of advising agencies how to avoid claims, lawmakers decided not to penalize the departments. The main argument for paying out all this money is that if these claims actually went to court, it would cost the taxpayers even more. Reporting from the state capitol, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.